Realize that fifth generation warriors are changing the world now. A nation's ability to field fifth generation fighter aircraft in its air force is adequate evidence of its standing as a major player in the world. Although they are the tools used to win battles, they are much more than that. This has two drawbacks, though, losing fighters in the midst of a battle is a sign that something is off. It also shows your opponents that you're not as unbeatable as you believe yourself to be. China's ability to create terrible might seems to be causing it to lose its reputation as an unbeatable force. Come explore China's advantages and how the US F-15 EX fighter can defeat China's J-20. The F-15 EX Eagle E, the newest fighter aircraft in the US Air Force, has touched down in Oregon and is prepared to intercept Chinese and Russian planes in the Pacific. To support fifth-generation jets, the 45th-generation fighter, which is distinguished by its speed loader time and combat strength, can carry up to 30,000 pounds of ammunition and possesses sophisticated sensors. With an eye toward having the fleet by 2026, the 142nd Fighter Wing at Portland Air National Guard Base plans to swap out its F-15Cs for F-15X. Congress is in favor of a large fleet in order to prevent past blunders such as the early production stoppage of the F-22 Raptor, even though the Air Force would prefer fewer aircraft. The F-15 EX Eagle EU, a fighter jet of the 4th-5th generation, adds significant capabilities to the Air Force of the United States. June saw the arrival of the first F-15 EX Eagle E fighter jet at Portland Air National Guard Base's 142nd Fighter Wing. The aircraft piloted by Major Calvin Connor originated from a Florida-based testing and evaluation outfit. One of the U.S. Air Force's swiftest fighter aircraft, the F-15 EX Eagle E, can reach nearly Mach 2.5 or 2,800 miles per hour. The F-15 EX Eagle E is not only extremely fast, but it also has a good loader time, with an 800-mile fighting radius and an operational range of about 2,000 miles. However, the combat capability of the F-15 EX Eagle E is what really sets it apart. The U.S. Air Force's newest fighter jet is a formidable machine. With enhanced sensors that let it to work with fifth-generation stealth fighter jets, it can operate with up to 30,000 pounds of air-to-ground and air-to-air -air missiles, enhancing its lethality. The Air Force is confident that this aircraft will be maintained by the greatest maintainers, fueled by the best fuelers, and flown by the best pilots because the 142nd is leading the charge in all we do. They are aware that we can perform the task more effectively than anyone else, said Cole Kozderka. The 142nd Fighter Wing is one of the Air National Guard units that uses the F-15 EX Eagle E fighter jet, along with the 144th and 159th Fighter Wings. More than 100 of the type of aircraft are anticipated by the three units. The precise figure remains uncertain due to a heated dispute between Congress and the Air Forces on the ultimate scope of the F-15 EX Eagle E order. The Air Force is surprisingly advocating for fewer aircraft if it had the final say it would purchase less than 100 fighter fighters. More than 100 of the type of aircraft are anticipated by the three units. The precise figure remains uncertain due to a heated dispute between Congress and the Air Forces on the ultimate scope of the F-15 EX Eagle E order. The Air Force is surprisingly advocating for fewer aircraft if it had the final say it would purchase less than 100 fighter fighters. The F-22 Raptor self-fighter jet's production line was shut down too soon, and now that it is slowly losing parts, making it the best air superiority fighter jet in the world. Congress, which has the final say, is pushing for a more robust F-15 EX Eagle E fleet to avoid a situation similar to that. The 142nd Fighter Wing anticipates having its whole fleet of F-15 EX Eagle E by 2026 replacing its present fleet of F-15Cs with the second aircraft arriving this month. Beijing has previously had trouble getting powerful enough engines for its top stealth fighter. Moscow is now assisting in giving the J-20 some significantly enhanced capabilities. With great fanfare, the People's Liberation Army Air Force deployed China's Chengdu J-20 stealth fighter, raising alarming predictions that the U.S. had lost its competitive advantage in stealth aircraft. 
Although China is now the second nation in the world to feel the stealth fighter built and constructed domestically thanks to the J-20 the platform is far from ideal. The nose and canopy of the J-20 were immediately compared to those of the F-22 Raptor, which is regarded as one of the most stealthy aircraft in service with the United States and may be the most stealthy in existence. Still, this is one of the few similarities between the two airframes. The Boeing F-15EX was initially seen as a cost-effective alternative to more advanced fighters like the F-35. However, its price has steadily increased surpassing even the F-35's costs. Initially projected to cost under $80 million per jet, the F-15EX price rose to $90 million, then to $97 million by the fall of 2023. Inflation workforce instability and economic conditions have been cited as reasons for the cost hike. The Boeing F-15EX was supposed to be a cost saver, a capable jet that could serve adequately without busting budgets. But the cost of the F-15EX continued to rise, outpacing even the F-35, which was once billed as the example of a fighter jet suffering from uncontrollable cost growth. We're examining the topic of scaled purchasing. How do we partner with suppliers for long-term affordability is the topic of our investigation. Boeing Vice President of Fighters Mark Sears told Defense One, we're looking at how do we control our own costs in the factory, whether that's kind of infrastructure cost or whether that's efficiency that we can continue to build in. The F-15 was initially projected to cost less than $80 million per aircraft. However, Boeing revised down their initial cost projections in 2023, Following the signing of an agreement with the Air Force for 48 F-15EX aircraft, Boeing announced that the cost per aircraft would exceed initial projections by over 10%, amounting to around $90 million. Sears stated, We're trying to be as proactive as we can about how do we try to overcome that or at least stem the growth in the future. Today's economics, inflation, and workforce instability are all real. Our main goal is to be reasonably priced, it's challenging to predict with precision what market economics will do in the future. I'm not an economist, but let me tell you something. Corporations are habitually abusing customers under the guise of inflation and worker insecurity. Is the level of inflation and labor volatility so high that a 25% rise in costs is truly necessary? While market conditions may have reduced Boeing's profit margins, I will suggest at the risk of sounding like Bernie Sanders that the corporation was probably quite quick to shift the cost to the consumer rather than reorganize itself, say by cutting executive salaries. According to Defense One, the new data shows the F-15 EX is to cost more than the Air Force is paying for its F-35s as which puts the F-15 EX price in context.